Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain causality and stability of system from differential equation. So to explain that, we have a question here. That question is find transfer function of and determine causality and stability of system described by this differential equation. And to identify stability and causality, ROC of this question is given. ROC is real part of pole that is greater than 1. So ROC is given here. We are dealing with to identify causality and stability. Now see before we calculate stability and causality, first question is to identify what is the transfer function and that transfer function that we can calculate from this differential equation. In my previous session one can see how to calculate transfer function from differential equation. And I have already explained if you have any LTI system and if you have input over here x of t, output is y of t and system impulse response is h of t, then transform of all these three that will be input transform is x of s, out, output transform is y of s, then systems transfer function is h of s. And that system's transfer function h of s is equals to y of s divided by x of s. So this is how we can have transfer function of any system. And based on transfer function, we can have position of poles. And that position of poles will justify whether a given system is causal or stable. So causal and stable or not. So both of that we can check it based on transfer function. So first agenda is to identify what is the transfer function. Now see, first of all, let me write this differential equation dyt by dt plus 2yt is equals to d square xt by dt square plus dxt by dt minus 2xt. So if I take Laplace transform of this, then I can have this equation in form of y of s and x of s and by taking ratio of y of s and x of s we can have transfer function. So take Laplace transform. So if you take Laplace transform, one time differentiation is s into y of s. Here this is y of t only, so 2 into y of s plus 2 time differentiation means s square, sorry, this is equals to s square into x of t, x of s now, plus 1 time differentiation is s into x of s minus 2 into x of s. See, one time differentiation means s into y of s and two time differentiation means s square into x of s that one can write to have Laplace transform. Now, if I take y of s common here, this will be s plus 2. And if I take x of s common here, this will be s square plus s minus 2. So, basically, we can say our transfer function h of s that is y of s divided by x of s and that has to be y of s is s see this ratio will be s square plus s minus 2 divided by s plus 2 so this is what our transfer function now stability and causality is different thing first of all we need to observe this transfer function now from observation of this transfer function one can say number of zeros are greater than number of poles so here number of zeros are greater than number of poles so this transfer function is improper transfer function so this transfer function is improper transfer function. 
So for improper transfer function, directly we cannot identify causality and stability. So all we need to do is, we need to take inverse of this transfer function and then we should check stability and causality of it. So for improper transfer function, take inverse transfer function that is 1 by h of s and check stability and causality for inverse of that transfer function which we have. So here we have improper transfer function so we need to take inverse of that transfer function and that then we should check causality and stability for inverse of that transfer function. So this is what we need to keep in our mind. Sometimes what happens is like students are directly saying uh, we have one pole here at s is equals to minus 2 and then they check it then they check stability for that. Sometimes they may get stable system but for improper transfer function you will not get it in that way. You will have to see number of poles and number of zeros. If number of poles are less than number of zeros, in that case systems transfer function is improper transfer function. Then one should go for inverse of that transfer function and then check stability and causality for that. So this is what the basic method which one should follow. So now inverse of transfer function that is 1 by h of s. And now that has to be s plus 2 divided by s square plus s minus 2. Now see again to have position of poles here two poles are there for inverse of the transfer function. We can say that is happening at see if you do exp, uh, if you calculate fraction of this then that has to be minus 2 is there so 2 minus 1 means minus 2 into 1 means my 2 minus 1 that is what 1 so that will result into s plus 2 into s minus 1 so this is what we have now now we can say based on this position of poles first so position of poles for h inverse that is at s is equals to minus 2 and s is equals to 1. So if I plot s plane then it will be more clear now. Here there is sigma, here there is j omega. Now pole positions so that is happening at s is equals to minus 2 and one pole that is happening at s is equals to 1 which is over here. So this is what pole position. Now see based on pole position we can say one thing. One pole is there on right half plane. Means system is not causal. One pole here. One pole is there in right half plane at s is equals to 1. So system is not causal. So system is not causal system that one can say directly and if you observe question so in question ROC is given. ROC is real part of s is greater than 1. Re of part of s is greater than 1 means what ROC is this. Here ROC that is real part of s is greater than 1 means ROC is this. Here if you see this ROC that is not including j omega axis. So here ROC does not 
इंक्लूड्स जे ओमेगा एक्सिस एंड एज इट डज नॉट इंक्लूड जे ओमेगा एक्सिस वन कैन से सिस्टम इज नॉट स्टेबल सो वी कैन से दिस सिस्टम इज नॉट कॉजल एज वेल एज दिस सिस्टम इज नॉट स्टेबल बेस्ड ऑन पोजिशन ऑफ पोल्स सो दिस इज वॉट वी कैन कंक्लूड बेस्ड ऑन इट सो वेन एवर यू कैलकुलेट दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन स्टेबिलिटी एंड कॉजलिटी फर्स्ट यू नीड टू फाइंड ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो बाय ट्रांसफर फंक्शन वी नीड टू सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेदर दिस इज प्रॉपर ट्रांसफर फंक्शन और इम प्रॉपर ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इफ नंबर ऑफ पोल्स आर लेस देन नंबर ऑफ जीरो देन इट इज इम प्रॉपर ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो फॉर स्टेबिलिटी एंड कॉजलिटी वी नीड टू टेक इन इनवर्स ऑफ दैट ट्रांसफर फंक्शन and then after based on inverse of transfer function we need to see position of poles and zeros and then based on poles we can justify causality of system and based on roc we can justify stability of system for stable system roc should include j omega axis and for causality all the poles that has to be there in left half of plane so this is what we can understand based on this problem i hope that you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will be solving your queries thank you so much for watching this video